Hello friends, this is Barbara from Wigs and Fluff. Now, in today's video, we're going to be unboxing the rosette and we're gonna talk a little bit about thankfulness. But first, please like, subscribe, and comment below. And if you wanna help me further, stay to the end of the video. I would really appreciate it. Now then, on to the rosette. This is the rosette by Paula Young, one of my favorites. I really love Paula Young. Wigs, just, oh, and a beautiful red too. Now this is in the color number 27. One of my favorites. So I'm getting her out of the box. And as always, I always tell people, take a picture if you're new to wigs. Take the picture of how it came in the box so you get used to how you have to put it back together if you're going to return the wig. So, and Paula Young comes with two tags. The one is the tag, you want to keep this one, and the other is the Paula Young, this product cannot be returned if you remove the tag. So, <clears throat> I'm going to remove the tag because... I always keep my wigs because if it's a wig I don't especially like, I like the challenge of trying to make it into one that I do like by trimming and making, cutting in bangs, so forth and so on. And um, this particular one is a beautiful red. Now I have to get this one off. And Paula Young is usually not that difficult to, to deal with. It's got this nice gold cord, which I really appreciate because when you're using it, when you're hanging your wigs, like I hang my wigs, some of them, some of them are on shelves, some of them are hanging. Um, and I use the clip, one of those clips like this. And I put the tag just like this. And then I clip this onto the tag of the wig and hang it upside down on a hook. Now here she is right here. Now she is a shoulder length. First thing you need to do is give her a good shake. You gotta wake up all those fibers. And then I go to combing and brushing and trying to, it might be slightly tangled. I'm reaching for my comb, my wide tooth comb. There we go. She's got some bangs, it looks like. So we'll be seeing how those bangs are gonna look. And Paula Young always has Velcro adjusters. That's one of the first things I always look for in a wig is whether there are Velcro adjusters. And there are, as usual. Paula Young most always has Velcro, and I really appreciate that. Okay, this is the first try. And I always make sure that I get my ear tabs. If you don't know how to put on a wig, I have a video for that. So you can find that. Maybe I'll put it in the description box below. But she is she is really cute. She just needs a little bit of trim with the uh, with the bangs. But she is a beauty. Look at this beautiful color. Just gorgeous color. All she needs is just a trim with the bangs and she will be good to go. Now you could wear this easily in a lovely red ponytail. How awesome would that be? I've got a ponytail holder right over here. It's white. It'll be fine. Just a scrunchie back there. and a few little tendrils coming down. Now, I do have to take care of the bangs, that's for sure. And you can see there's a few problems there, some of them, some unevenness. But you can see it comes all the way down below my eyes. So this is going to be a bit of a problem and I will be cutting these bangs later on, not now because that will take me some time. 
and I'll get um, hair all over my shirt. One thing when you're cutting, you need a really fuzzy brush like this, a makeup brush, so you can get it off of your face and maybe off your clothes. So just a little tip there when you're cutting bangs, but don't be afraid to cut bangs because the manufacturers send wigs with the bangs that are way long like this and they expect you to go ahead and adjust them for your forehead because everybody's forehead is different. Mine is a three inch forehead. And so, gosh, this is a beautiful color. Let's turn around and look at the back. I mean, it is a beautiful color. I love this number 27. Look how pretty that is. That is a gorgeous, gorgeous red color. Just so pretty. Look how gorgeous that is. Now, I just need to fix the bangs, and I will do that. But I have to take off my shirt first because I intend to wear this to Thanksgiving. So, I was going to wear a different shirt, but this one here is warmer, <laughs> and it turned here in Georgia a little chilly. It was 37 this morning. So... So, but you can see that um, I need to fix the bangs, but other than that, it's a perfect wig. It'll be perfect, and the bangs are not flat. They're slightly fluffy, too, so that will make it a little easier to, to fix. So, I will do that in a little bit. Let's take it off and have a look at the inside real quick. Oh, you can see right there that it's a horseshoe shape. So... It's got some netting over the top. It doesn't have any um, little fibers here, but it does have this horseshoe shape, and this is all netted in here. So it's got some built-in permatease like that. So, But she's beautiful. She's got Velcro adjusters a little velvet in the back and a nice piece of velvet in the front. She's a traditional open cap. So um, just a traditional open cap and very, very beautiful. Very, very beautiful. Uh, this is Rosette by Paula Young. It's soft and romantic, brow skimming bangs. They are four and a half inches on this right now. Four and a half inches. So I will have to adjust the bangs. There's no doubt about that. But you can see how pretty she is. She just goes right on. It's hardly anything you have to do to her to fix her except just trim your bangs a bit and you're good to go. Look how pretty that is. And you have yourself a gorgeous wig for an updo. She could, it's beautiful layers, beautiful. And you could just twist it and put it up in the back with some tendrils hanging down. Look how pretty that is. It just works so beautifully. This would make a really great, great long wig for anyone. So I pushed it back on my forehead a little bit so that the bangs hit the right place. And um, so you can see these small pieces right here in the front that frame the face. You've got a couple of small pieces that'll frame the face for you too. Gorgeous red number 27. So it's four and a half inches in the front, 12 inches on the top, 12 inches on the crown, 10 and a half inches on the sides, 11 on the upper back, 8 inches in the nape, and it's 3.9 ounces. So she is a real beauty. All you need to do is just bring her back just like this, put her in a ponytail, or give it a twist, and put her in an updo with a pretty clip. And you've got yourself... A really cute little Thanksgiving hairdo or Christmas hairdo. Look how pretty that is. Look how natural that looks. 
That looks absolutely natural like it's my own hair. I'm going to turn her all the way around so you can see how pretty that is. That is beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful wig. And I'm looking forward to trimming the bangs just a bit, just enough. And this is in the color number 27. Number 27. So really, really pretty, pretty wig. And I'm going to push it back just a little bit like that so that you can see how we're, where the bangs are supposed to go. So it's supposed to be eyelash skimming bangs. So, um, but you can make them any size you want. You can cut them shorter or longer, whatever suits your need. But her lengths are beautiful. It is the softest hair. It feels like absolute real hair. It, it, it absolutely is. I'm struck by how soft and beautiful this wig really is. So this is not an expensive wig. It is budget friendly and you can do a world of different updos, twists. Um, you can do ponytails, all kinds of things with this particular wig. And I think I'm going to be bringing it out tomorrow when I do some ponytail wigs. So at any rate, uh, keep your eye on Rosette. Check her out. She's beautiful. And I think I got her from PaulaYoung.com. Now, I want to talk to you about thankfulness. Now, Jesus, Jesus wants us to be thankful for the things that he has given us. For the food that we eat, the clothes on our back, the house that protects us, the cars that we drive. Everything you have is because of him, because he loves you so much. And a lot of people think, well, I worked and paid for that stuff myself. Well, who do you think was behind you? Who do you think opened doors for you to get that job? So you need to remember these things and be thankful to God for the things that he has given you. And that's my story for today is thankfulness today. And just keep that mindset going all day long today. <clears throat> As you go to your Thanksgiving dinner, as you go along your way, remember thankfulness. He's the reason where you are, where you are today, and you are blessed, truly blessed. Now, that's my story for today, and in tomorrow's video, we're going to be looking at ponytails with wigs. So, that's my story, and I will see you tomorrow.